Hey, what's up, my awesome people? Back again, guys, for another new video. This is yours truly, the anime guy, and hopefully you all enjoy the rest of the show. Now, guys, I know it's been a minute, but here is my top favorite anime series of fall 2014. I'm not saying it's better than others, but these anime shows really made a big impression when I first look at the first episode or the second episode. But guys, before I begin, be sure to check out any chart that net a great website hands down, especially if you want to look at upcoming anime releases of winter 2015, which they already have up. So that's pretty neat. But guys, I know it has been a ton of anime series of fall 2014. For me personally, I was looking at particularly the ones that I thought it was going to do good, which did okay, but it was others that did um, really well, and I was judging, you know, unfortunately. Now on to the show here, guys. Parasite, to me, is a good series. I thought it was going to do okay, but it's doing surprisingly well. Now you get alien creatures that invades Earth, invade uh, the human brain, takes control of the body, and it turns out to be a flesh meat meaning creature disguised as a human. So I really am surprised as well as it's doing, and I love this show, and I just love that it's not really, you know, censored. Now the next anime series we're going to be talking about is Psychopath Season 2. Now to me, Psychopath Season 2, the first episode did okay, but that cliffhanger was awesome. And as it progresses of each episode, even though it's 11 episodes, I think it's doing surprisingly well. You get this, you know, another bad guy that um, corrupts the system in a different way, which they never seen before, just like Season 1. And I just cannot wait for this to come out on Blu-ray already. I am enjoying the show, it just sucks it's only 11 episodes. Now the next anime series guys is called Cross Angie. Now Cross Angie, I would say don't judge a book by its cover. I think to me it's one of the, not the best, top best, but it's doing really well and I am enjoying the series. If I could break it down, I would say basically girls that can't control a certain ability use as slaves to fight creatures from different dimensions, basically dragons. The concept and the artwork is amazing as well as the animation, so you guys should be, you know, watching that. It's a really good show. Now, the next series is going to be Fate State Night Unlimited Blade Works of 2014. You know, what can I say about this, guys? Really? A lot of people is hype about this, and they should be. The animation is is fantastic the storyline is amazing I am enjoying it I really wish the episodes would come faster I mean what can you say about it you know you fate you face a night fans out there but it's a good anime series now on to the next show what can I say about the seven deadly sins the seven deadly sins the concept the artwork and the, not only the animation, the fight scenes are gorgeous, guys. And I have to say, I just love the action pack. You know, it, it has a unique plot. So if you want to um, look up that plot, be sure to research that plot because it's really good. Now, hopefully you can see that information. But I am enjoying the show here, guys. Now, next up is Yona of the Dawn. Has a unique concept, give you that samurai theme into it, that ancient time. But at the same time, I am enjoying this anime series about a princess who got kicked out of her kingdom, seeing her father got um, killed in front of her, and the killer, most likely, which is her lover, the person she loves. So it's kind of have a unique twist. But at the same time, you guys should check it out. I think you guys will enjoy it. Now, the next anime series, which is really different, but I have to say this show is really good. Rage of Bahama Genesis. Hopefully I said that correctly. Angels, demons, dragons, epic fight scenes, guys. I have to say this anime series, it deserves a thumbs up. I am surprised as well as doing, and that anime opening is epic. So guys, be sure to check out, you know, this anime series. I really am surprised as well as this doing. Now guys, if you want a comedy slash romance series with a twist, Wolf Girl and the Black Prince is your choice. I really enjoy this series. A girl who basically says she has a boyfriend and it went down here, for the, down here from there and basically she lied and 
she convinces God to be, you know, her boyfriend, but basically he twists her arms and do things to her that she never thought was going to happen. So it's a funny series, guys. It really is. Now, what can I say about Your Lie in April? Your Lie in April is a great anime series, a great concept, mostly dealing with music, an anime series about music. A lot of people probably don't look at anime series like this, but I say check this out about a, uh, a boy that was, when he was young, he was talented with the piano. I think things happen, but he wants to give that spark back as soon as he met this girl. So it's a really interesting concept, guys. And last but not least, guys, a great anime show that is doing surprisingly well, Amagi Bring It Park. And hopefully I said that correctly. A good anime series which I am enjoying and I just cannot wait to watch each, each episode. Yes, me talking gibberish again. But it's about a theme park that has fairy tale characters and the park went down here because it was not doing financially well. So a girl forced a guy to become a manager and... All case is closed guys I say this is a good anime series comedy and a little romance into it but guys thank you so much for supporting my channel be sure to check out my last video which was high school of the dead collectors edition unboxing don't forget to check out my social links my anime list Twitter and Facebook don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next episode